guys that are in an environment of going to school all the time and then throwing you online. So um, other than that, uh, your grades can definitely go up this quarter. Uh, if they go down, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, and I can explain that to you too. Okay, so if you have a question, unmute yourself and shout away. Yeah, Teach, this shit is Reggie, dude. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do, dude. This shit is garbage. What do I What do I say to the plug? Oh, <laughs> Does anybody know? No. I have no idea. No. Um, and who's Kobe? Andy W. Oh, you don't, you don't remember me, Teach? I can't. I can't. Hold on. I'll turn my camera on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'll get my camera. I can go next if you want. Okay. I would love that. But we can't see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay. So... I got this really sick fucking gravity bong from GleaveTM.com using oh, yeah. code Let's Goblin. Rid of you. When you get it out of the bottle here, there's actually a hole in the bottom <laughs> of the bottle, and when you pull it out, you get a lot of smoke. It's a great this piece. Way. This is another great piece. <laughs> harassment. But what we're really trying to get to the bottom of is what motivates harassment in general. Now, what you see here is the traditional view um, that's termed sexual harassment. And this is based on the prototype of men sexually harassing women. And what you see immediately below are the traditionally recognized forms of sexual harassment. Uh, so quid pro quo harassment. So this is a supervisor who says, if you do me some sexual favor, then I will, uh, you know, improve your career in the following way. Unwanted sexual attention and sexual comments, jokes, and materials. Now, the underlying assumption of the traditional view <coughs> is that oh. harassment is motivated by sexual... That weed is Reggie, Teach. Holy shit. Oh, I can't. Sorry. Es importante empezar a usar simuladores. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a simular? ¿Sí? Vamos a generar una nueva simulación. ¿Sí? Para eso voy acá donde dice New Simulation. ¿Sí? Le ponemos el nombre que ustedes quieran. ¿Sí? Vamos a ponerle Cool. ¿Sí? Automáticamente eso les va a abrir un cuadro de diálogo como el que ustedes ven acá. Fíjense que acá le dice dominio del tiempo. Nosotros no vamos a trabajar en el dominio del tiempo, sino que vamos a trabajar directamente en corriente continua. Entonces vamos, tenemos dos, tenemos el BS Point, que es para buscar como el punto de trabajo, y el DS Sweep, que es para hacer análisis paramétrico. ¿sí? ¿Qué es un análisis paramétrico? Es básicamente cuando tenemos una variable y la hacemos recorrer por distintos valores, que es lo que vamos a hacer. Más. Entonces vamos acá, DC Sweep, ¿sí? fíjense que tenemos una fuente de tensión, que, ¿cómo se llama nuestra fuente de tensión? Se llama... DC. ¿sí? Bien. Entonces vamos a elegir que, va, que arranque de valor 0, por ejemplo, a 15 volts, ¿sí? con incrementos de 0,1 volt. ¿sí? Básicamente esto, ¿sí? como si ustedes tuvieran la fuente regulada y van variando el, el potenciómetro que tienen en su fuente, ¿sí? lo que va a hacer básicamente es eso. ¿Está bien? Donde va a arrancar de 0 volt, va a llegar hasta 15 y va a ir con incremento de 0,1. Es decir, que va a ser 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, ¿sí? así hasta llegar a 15. ¿Está bien? ¿Cuántas simulaciones serían? Sería el programa. Sí, eso es verdad. ¿Cuántas simulaciones hace? Arranco de cero, voy hasta 15 en... Hi. Ok. So, I don't have too much more information for you guys. So... Ok. Yeah. You, you guys can go and... <laughs> Um, study first and do everything that you can to just do a really 
fantastic job on that checkpoint. Again, questions, let me know. You can shoot me questions either in Google Classroom or in uh, an email. So turn your notifications on for Google Classroom. Oh, look, what's going on there, Jenny? Jose, I'm sad. Use code Goblin. Oh my gosh. At gleetm.com. <laughs> Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Carl Whitworth. All right. So if that was the way that I turned it is, that's like not very great. Um, so I'm going to close out the meeting now. Bye, guys. No. Nice oh. Everybody's faces. I shut down the meeting. <laughs> Wait, what? You're still in there. The world has been flipped upside down. Now what do I do? So, and I... And I know it's hard, like I'll be in the backyard and my neighbor will be in his backyard and he'll be barbecuing and I'm barbecuing and, but you can't hang out. You really can't. I mean, you, you guys are part of the solution. If you, if you guys continue to hang out and you know, maybe you tell your parents, Oh, I'll go get the milk. And then all of a sudden you slide over to your friend's house and you're not getting the milk anymore. Instead you are, you know, potentially contagious and you don't know it and then grandma or grandpa gets it inside the household and then the cycle continues so you really got to stay put i mean as hard as it is going to be we we need your guys's help we really do you know i think old people and people with families it's probably easier to stay put <laughs> okay so jonathan can you turn on your microphone please Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, it could be somebody um, impersonating you. Uh, no, it's uh, why do I? I see, why do I'm, I? See? My um, my name's spelled with an O at the end, so I don't know who that is. Oh, interesting. So let me take that. For, that's weird. Okay, let me take them. I'm going to remove that person. <laughs> a, I see, I can do all that, right? That's, that's very cool. I, I just got rid of whoever it was. Um, okay, I'm so I have now seen both of you presenters. Who I, I can see, uh, Nyak, I can see you. I cannot see Jonathan. Yay.